How bad can jail be when it's the Ritz Carlton? For Saudi Arabia's richest men, that is not an easy question to answer. In recent weeks, hundreds have been locked up in a move that is officially being called an anti-corruption drive, but feels a lot like a changing of the guard. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman sits at the center of the shakeup. It is just one of many policy earthquakes that the kingdom's heir apparent has helped champion since being appointed in June. Together with economic and social reforms, MBS has staked out a bold, if not reckless, foreign policy. He has advocated for the war in Yemen, severed ties with Qatar, escalated tensions with Iran, and apparently meddled in Lebanese politics. For a country where politics has traditionally been a long game, and policies emerge from cautious consensus building, the pace of change has been dizzying and potentially destabilizing. Saudi Arabia is a youthful country, led by old men. The Crown Prince, who is just 32, represents the future to many Saudis, while direct heirs to the throne of King Abdelaziz, the founder of modern Saudi Arabia, do not. The youngest is in his 70s, and the current ruler, King Salman, is 79. Salman's appointment of MBS was seen as recognition that the status quo must be reformed. Royal patronage and entrenched clientelism have disadvantaged generations. Some of the country's most important cities are sites of displacement, segregation, conflict, and even abject poverty. And despite being one of the world's richest countries, an estimated one quarter of the population lives below the official poverty line. Allowing women to drive and vowing to improve job prospects are reassuring to many young people. Rooting out corruption also plays well. Still, many fear that MBS is moving too fast. Modernizing reforms have drawn protests in the past and could again. Moreover, reports have emerged that the anti-corruption purge may have more to do with funding the state's depleted coffers than with rooting out illicit behavior. If true, MBS's already long list of enemies will certainly grow. Given the many unknowns, analysts have turned to analogies. Some see parallels between MBS and Chinese President Xi Jinping, who also used an anti-corruption drive to consolidate power. Others think the endgame could resemble that of Iran's ill-fated Pahlavi dynasty. Much will depend on Saudi Arabia's young people, many of whom compare their young prince to a modern-day Arab Robin Hood. But the kingdom's political intrigue is most likely far from over, and if MBS fails to meet young Saudis' rising expectations, he too will quickly come to represent the past. Mm -hmm.